this and this, sorry, off is this and this connected together, and on is this green and red connected together. Okay, next part is your igniter, sorry, not your igniter, is your ignition. Power comes in through the negative because it's DC negative, which means your battery is at negative 12 volts. Okay, so I'll explain that at the end for anyone who wants to keep listening. Power comes in through here and goes back to the battery. Okay, and then when you connect up this, so you connect this part to power and this part to earth through a switch on your handlebars that will then ignite or energize this coil which is the works like a magnet and it will clamp down and turn this into a closed circuit and make your starter motor work. That is connected to that button there. Okay. This is your kill switch. Okay, that's a little complicated to understand, but basically that works the same as your key. Off is power disconnected and kill switch enabled. On is simply kill switch disabled and power connected to the entire scooter. Okay, simple. So that's the same as the key. That's black and pink connected together. And that is green and red connected together. Don't quote me on the colors of your wiring. You have to look at how it works. They're different on every scooter because different countries have different wiring colors, but generally the electricity is going to work the same everywhere. I can pretty much guarantee you the electricity is going to work the same everywhere in the whole world and probably on other planets. Okay, so that's kill switch. That's power. Okay. Over here you have a stator. Okay, so you'll see race stators, and they don't have these six coils, they're for charging your battery. This is your coil that turns your switch for your CDI on and off. That goes up to your CDI, basically how that works is it sits inside your flywheel, flywheel spins, induces power in these, and also turns this on and off. Okay, remember if you change this to a race stator, you don't have these. So that changes the amount of power you can draw and makes it so you can't really have a starter motor. The reason I had a problem here is because I ran two batteries, a big battery and a small battery, which lowered the resistance of the circuit, made me draw lots of current and melted it. Okay, you look up some basic Ohm's law if you understand that and that will become very clear to you what happened there. Often people have difficulty with this that work in mechanics and stuff because they don't have a good knowledge of electricity. Basically all I'm saying is when you connect this and this but both to your scooter that's going to have a lot less resistance, draw more power, more power, big problems for your wiring. Okay, so this goes down to your stator down here. This is where this lives, okay. Now the stator is connected on here, like that, and you have one wire that goes onto your CDI and goes on off on off on off and then is controlled by the CDI at what time it turns on and off the spark wire. Whenever you look at something from China it's always going to say high pressure because of the term they use. High tension other people might use. This isn't actually high pressure or high tension it's 12 volts but it turns on the power to your high tension. Okay, High tension means high voltage it's the same thing and that is simply connected straight onto here okay and that basically turns on and off your spark plug okay the earth for that is this and remember as i said earlier it's dc negative so the large amount of voltage that you're generating through here all of the electrons for that is getting sucked in through the earth which is the mounting bracket as well remember if you don't stick your mounting bracket straight onto bare metal it probably won't work okay next part for the CDI is your positive and negative okay so one of these is positive I believe that is black and white and black and red is earth okay now one of these 
it's going to go to your power circuit. So when you energize the circuit for your scooter by turning your key on, you're going to put power onto here. It's going to turn on your little red light and make this work. Okay, This won't work without power. Some CDIs do. This one doesn't. Some CDIs draw all of their power from the stator. Okay. And the last part of this is your kill switch. Okay. The kill switch is connected to this. Your high pressure circuit. And what happens is when you turn on your kill switch, instead of power going through here and energizing your um, coil, it goes to here and goes straight back to the battery, which means you have no spark for as long as this is turned on. And that means that your stator isn't spinning and then you have no power to your spark plug and then your scooter stops running. That's how you turn it off. So this is both connected to your key through here. Pink to sorry. Pink to pink. Okay. And then this is the 12 volt circuit as well. Okay? As well as everything else that runs off power in your scooter. So right. Hopefully you understand that. Okay, you've also got various circuits for lights and whatnot. That's all very simple, obviously. You've got power, okay, and negative. What you've got to remember is generally how lighting circuits and scooters and motorbikes and cars are often wired is they will put power straight onto it and the switching happens in the negative. And that is done for, because of the purpose, sorry, for the purpose I stated earlier, where power, this comes out of the negative and goes into the positive. This is negative 12 volts. Imagine this like you're tipping water, okay? And water's coming from everywhere on your moped and flowing into this, like it's a nice little hole, okay? And 12 volts is about how deep the hole is. If you know what I mean, that's the good. That's a good way to understand it. If you don't know how to do maths well enough to um, understand it, <laughs> okay. so that's why you've got a big earth lead that comes straight down to your starter motor, and also the frame of your moped because this is all connected together, okay. And that gives you the ability, right, to draw power out of the negative through wherever you have earthed everything, okay. That's how that works. Okay, so this goes to your key, basically, and also straight on to your starter motor switch circuit, which has the uh, contactor, well, it's not really called a contactor, it's called something else, cars have it too, and uh, they call them relays on cars, right, and that goes onto the frame, and also directly to the motor, the starter motor, okay. Now, is there anything I've forgotten? Um, your brakes are especially switched in the negative, okay, your brake light. So you will have 12 volts straight onto here, and then one that goes to earth, and then one that is a switched wire, okay, so when if you do testing it will show as an earth, and that switch wire goes up to your handlebars and is the switch to turn the brake light part on and off. Switching in the negative is very normal on 12 volt circuits, especially DC negative. Okay, um, I think that explains everything that's needed to be explained. Um, yeah, I hope that makes sense. I hope that makes sense more than my last video and clears up any of the thing where I said anything that was wrong and could potentially get you in problem in trouble or give you problems. But um, remember. You must use one of these or you will melt stuff because as you can see you've got big wires, bigger wires, right, going straight on to your motor for your starter motor and little wires that run everything else that turn it on and off and the other part is that this works by connecting these two together in one position, black and pink, which is earth and your kill switch and the other part that it connects together is red and green which is green 
positive, which is very stupid because green is earth on everything else, okay? So if you can imagine, I'll probably explain this a couple of times. I really want to drive this part home because this is the main thing I said wrong in the other video. In the key on position, this is connected to this. In the key off position, this is connected to this. Okay, and don't sweat that your kill switch coil is connected to earth when you've got everything turned off because the kill switch is only connected to the stator and the stator is not connected to the battery. That's one part I did get right. Remember, when you connect your positive wire to your positive circuit, make sure that the positive wire is connected to the positive wire and the power from your stator coil is connected to the other side. Okay, to the negative, sorry, to the negative, to the negative, to the green circuit. That way, in the off position, your battery and your stator are not connected together. The reason for this, okay, is that while the scooter's running, it's fine to have the stator connected to the battery because the stator is spinning and charging up your battery. When the stator is, when the scooter is not running, and the battery is then connected to the stator, what happens is all of these coils are then connected in circuit with your battery. And then, then you can get a different cause of a similar problem to that. Okay, so when you turn the scooter off, what you want to do is disconnect this from this. Okay, you want to disconnect this from everything because this is not live unless it is spinning. But this is live whether it is spinning or not. You want to disconnect this from this and you want to disconnect this from everything and you also want to connect the kill switch from here okay but it's not from here is it it's from here okay and this won't work this won't be connected unless the stator is spinning so you can connect that to earth as long as this is also disconnected from the power, which is what happens when you turn off the key. Okay? If you wire it up like that, you can't go wrong. Okay? <laughs> Don't want to go wombling on about how clever I am, but I did go to fucking school and learn about electrical engineering. And if you do it like that, you'll probably be alright. <laughs> okay? There you go. Here's some cool shots of my scooter.